Hi, I'm Matt Kemp from the Underground Cookery School. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a garlic salad dressing. I've got all the ingredients I need here, including clove of garlic. But what I'm going to do is, rather than dice the um, uh, clove, I'm going to... Uh, I've cut it in half. Um, I'm going to sprinkle it with a bit of salt. And I'm actually going to mash it. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scrape that garlic to create like a paste. Um, and I think that's going to work much better. You can actually do this in a pestle and mortar and it's really effective, but not everyone's got a pestle and mortar. So over the next minute and a half, I'm just going to scrape that like this into a paste. And when you come back, you'll see the end result. Right, well, I got that, uh, I got that garlic paste now, which is exactly what I want. I find the dice um, don't release uh, the juices of the garlic, which is where all the flavor is. And that's effectively, you want that juice that's why you should never use a garlic press um, in the dressing. So I've got my olive oil here. Um, I'm going to put about three tablespoons of olive oil um, in the bowl. Um, I'm going to put the garlic in now. Just give it a quick stir. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of white wine vinegar and one tablespoon of lemon juice. I'll give that a really good old mix so that it binds together. And now I'm going to add um, just a little bit of mustard, which is going to thicken it through. Um, I tend to add a little less than I need to begin with, and that way if you need to add more at the end, you can. Um, but you want a nice sort of thickness to it, so don't be shy about how much mustard you add. Um, by the way, whenever I do a salad dressing, I always make the dressing in the bowl and then stick the leaves on and go in with my hands afterwards. And I think that, um, that's quite a good rule to abide by. A bit more mustard. Um, I, I, for those that have, have seen a number of my videos, probably two of you, including my mum, what I do tend to um, suggest is that, you know, the whole reason for watching a video is to get the texture rather than uh, follow a recipe slavishly and, uh, 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 and I guess that's what I'm working towards here. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more and then we'll have the perfect texture. I'm going to pour a little bit into this dish just to give you an idea and then we're going to dress that salad with, um, um, well we'll dress some leaves with, with the dressing. Here we go. So look it's quite thick as you can see which is exactly how you want it. And that is how you make a garlic salad dressing.